Um, you're watching a panel of distinguished elders on Q&A tonight. Our next question comes from Saeed Fasse. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Although African Americans form less than 15% of population in America, in 2008, Obama was elected as the president in that country. And almost in every morning show, morning TV show, or current affair programs, you can see a blend of black, white, Asian, or Hispanic as presenters. In contrast, with a quarter of Australia's population born overseas, and more than 43% of people having at least one overseas-born parent, when I watch the morning shows or Australian soap operas on commercial channels, I see only Caucasians. And as a migrant with olive skin, I'm a bit confused, and I would like to ask our wise elders, including Tony, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> is, is wide Australia still unofficially alive in this country, or commercial channels are exclusively for Caucasians? Well, I'm going to go to genuinely wise elders for that answer. Rosalie. Um, no, you shouldn't come to me. I might be biased. <laughs> what do you think about this notion that some residue of white Australia still exists in this country? Of course it does. And you shouldn't have asked me first. <laughs> of course it does. Genuinely, no jokes. Um, we find it harder. We're unemployable. Um, not because we have wisdom or indeed some academic value or learning. White Australia policy, of course, does exist. Today, 2014, make no mistakes about it. I live with um, real discrimination. I live with hatred of my colour because I'm a first Australian person. And so does my people. And that's not dramatising or even exaggerating. We have a Minister for Aboriginal Affairs. It's exactly the same as Native Affairs. So I've lived for over 70 years under a regime and a system that not only destroys my culture, but also me as a person. We do live under trauma. Just look back to 2007. One of the most horrific control was put on us was absolute lies. We were all pedophiles. Look at uh, Mudijula. That was a lie, absolute lie. So Tony, you shouldn't have asked me first. Well, I'm going to say, can, I, can, this, can, I, can I put it this really way? really does affect me. Can, can I put it this that's, way? That's, that's the picture of that gentleman who's asking. Yes, olive skin. I still say this is my fellow human being sitting next to me. His colour is different to mine. But maybe he's better than the policies that are churned out by the federal government. I'm not saying white Australians are racist. What I'm saying here is the policies that come out of the federal government, enough is enough, we don't want it anymore. We want to take a journey, each human being in Australia, and find the truth <coughs> and find some justice with the First Nations people. Thank you. Rosalie. Are you, are you saying that you don't feel that anything much has changed? Because the, the, country, has, the country has uh, changed an awful lot since you were a young woman. When I know, for example, you said to uh, Andrew Denton some time ago that uh, at that period of your life you doubted yourself as a human being. Yes, because it keeps being 
reinforced over and over and over again by the policies which every, it doesn't matter if the government changes, the white Australian policy uh, when they got it in uh, Federation 1901, that is alive and well in Australia and it usually experimented on blacks in the Northern Territory because we are not a state. Come up and live with me sometime and live my life and I'll show you. Peter Coleman, can I bring you in here? Well, I, I, I suspect I, I, you have a different view. Well, I listened to Rosalie with, with obvious interest because of her great experience and uh, anything she says, is, is, is it's important to listen to. But I also listen to people, uh, Aborigines, who totally disagree with uh, Rosalie. Uh, Best Price MP, uh, Noel Pearson, Marcia Langton, uh, 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 and uh, so many more. Uh, I, I don't think, and I was interested uh, when uh, Rosalie said uh, that white Australians are not racist because uh, from day one uh, of, of British settlement in Australia, uh, there have been programs uh, to uh, help in this area, you know, there's been church missions, government welfare, um, uh, uh, the the intervention, um, uh, apologies, um, uh, uh, billions of dollars, and so on. Uh, and uh, uh, the the problem has not been solved, and, and it's not going to be easily solved. My own uh, solution, <laughs> my own uh, policy program would be in contrast to all the duds that we, dud policies that we tried out, is uh, assimilation, integration, by which I mean the full Monty, not just uh, 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 schooling or something, but intermarriage, uh, uh, all forms of integration. And even then the progress is painfully slow, but uh, it's, it's heartbreakingly slow. But at least uh, there is some progress uh, with the policy of assimilation uh, and to attack uh, uh, the, the white Australians who, who, who are determined uh, to do uh, something uh, helpful uh, is, is the wrong way to go uh, and I think assimilation is the right way to go. I'm going to come back.